Hello guys. Mm. Hello guys and welcome back. I probably look a little bit chilled out here, sat cross-legged on the floor, but that's because I've got my tripod, as usual. Um, now the other day I went out with Dom. Um, I was actually filming a twitching dead baits video that was the last video, or one of the last ones I uploaded, um, where I had one of my biggest fish of the year so far. It's not big by most people's standards, but for this little river that I fish, it's a good size. It, um, just under 13 pound. As you can hear, I've slowed my voice down. I know some people aren't from the UK and I talk quite quick. I don't want people to get too confused with what I'm saying. But I'm out today, doing a bit of perch fishing. That session, I was trying to film Dom get some perch, but instead it ended up all being about me catching pike. Um, but we're gonna go to the footage first, and then we'll cut back to this session that I'm on now. Uh, Dom was not quite doing micro fishing. It was just kind of light jigging for perch. He just ended up finding jack pike. Um, this biggest one actually came fairly soon as we started fishing, it was about five pound. I'm out today doing some proper micro fishing. Like you can see there, that's one of the jigs I'm using. It's like a little kind of crow bait in a way, little paddle tail on there, a couple little frilly bits that come off it. Um, very minimalistic action, it's kind of what you want this time of the year. Yesterday and the day before, everything was frozen over, it got down to minus two. All the still waters were completely frozen. Today it's plus 12 degrees, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so everything's melted, all the cold water has been flushed into the waterways. So the water temperature will have dropped completely. And anytime the sun comes out, they've got a beating loads of heat on them, seeing as though it's like 12 degrees today. So it's very weird for the fish. Fish are cold blooded. So that basically means that whatever the water temperature is, the body has to adjust to it. So if you get a long spell of cold weather, that can be all right for fishing. If you get a long spell of cold, warm weather, good for fishing. But if it constantly goes up and down, um, the fish have to adjust, adjust to that. So I can't guarantee I'm going to get thousands of fish. But if you're watching this, that means I've at least caught three or four fish. Because I won't really upload a video unless I've uh, caught a few. So I'm going to be using this one. I've also got a little sort of paddle tail swim bait that's only a little bit longer than this. And it's got a slimmer profile. And seeing as the weather's been a bit funny, I understand that the perch are probably going to be a little bit lethargic. So I'm going to be dropping this down into the slack water and just gradually dragging it along. Um, maybe I'll do a couple of hops every now and again and I'll just drag it, a couple of hops and then drag it. And if I can see any fish, I'll try and drop it just in front of him and just jiggle it on top of the, um, just in front of the noses. And hopefully we can get a couple of bites. Conditions are quite nice for fishing in because like I say, it's fairly warm. Got my jumper on. I had to have my thermals on the last two days. So it's, it's quite nice to be out fishing in. We'll see if we can catch any fish. And recently I keep breaking everything, I've had my bike stolen, so if there's any bike companies out there that want to sponsor me, send me out a bike and I'll show it in a video. <laughs> I've also broke my landing net, I broke a reel or two reels, I'm literally a, a money pit, I just absolutely sink all my money into fishing and I go and waste it all. So if there's any tackle companies out there that would also like to send me out some free stuff, I'd be happy to use it and show it in my videos for you guys. God, I'm a right beggar on it. So without further ado, I'm going to crack on me fishing, see if we can get any fish, and let's just enjoy the day. Oh, loads of birds in this bit. <laughs>
Look at that. Took the tail off. It's a good sign though. They're not quite getting the hook, they're just taking the whole tail in and not taking the hook. So let's go over whitey coloured, sort of tiny crow and see if they like that instead or see if they can take it. It's wider so it might not be able to fit in the mouth as easier but they should be able to get hooked up easier. See if we can hook one up with this. I think you should sink a bit easier that one as well. And bring it on quite a quick retrieve as well to say they were taking it. Go on! Oh yes. Is it a chub? Perch? Chub. Change up the bait, get a take. Look at that. That's definitely not pike. That'll have been a cormorant or a, um, probably a mink that. It's like a proper weird bite mark, isn't it? Look at that. Nailed it. Come buddy. See you later. See if there's any more out there. Oops, tangled up. So I actually found a couple of perch, and when I do it, when I practically stood on them and scared them out from wherever they were hiding. There's a group of them. They all look a bit spooked though. Not very big. Go on. Oh, no. We... This just threw the bait as I was about to strike. Got him. Not a bad one, compared to the ones that are down there. They're all quite small. God, he wanted that very slowly. That was just literally dragging it across the bottom. But it absolutely inhaled it, look. Really, really good take. Not a bad size fish for this micro bait. There's another two or three fish down there. They're all quite small though, probably smaller than this. But got him. Decent size, probably just over half a pound. Look at that, absolutely nailed it. Disappeared that jig. See, it looks nice and sharp. Look at that. Right, a couple more fish out there, then we'll get moving if I can't catch them. Oh, good start. Right, I'm hoping they didn't get too spooked then. I think they will have done. There's the two pike and I'll sit side by side. Neither one of them are going to take this. Now, where did the perch go? <laughs> I think they've just gone. I don't think I'm going to be able to find them. Oh, no, they're there. They're right up under the snags. He's not interested. He might have been the one I hooked the first time round. Really nice looking fish, but really shy and fairly small actually. There's another one down there, even smaller than it. Got it. Oh, 
Oh, and another perch. Yeah, they're wanting it very, very carefully, these perch. The chub wanting to nail it at high speed, and the perch are wanting it incredibly slow. Look at that. Once again, completely nailed. Nicely hooked. Nice little fish. Loving these micro baits. See you later, buddy. There's a nice big one here. Problem is, there's loads of smaller fish with it. Got it. Oh, it's not a big one, it's a small one. I say small, smaller. There we are. Beautiful fish. I might hold this one in the net because he's probably about six perch there. Once again, perfectly hooked. Nailed it. Little worm. Saying that, whether it'll stay in the net or not, I don't know. <laughs> I'm setting it down behind my side here. Don't think it'll stay there, but it's worth a try. I don't want to have it swim. Oh, there's a nice one. Bit, bit bigger. Little smaller ones after it. Oh, there's a few perch here. There's one up there that looks about a pound, which is kind of what I wanted. But there's one that looks about two, and there's a rest that look anywhere from like three ounce to half a pound. Damn it, they've got spooked. Every time you catch one, they get really shy. Small one's going to have it. Yep. Yeah, my, the one I just caught came out of the net, but that's all right. Look at that. So the technique I'm using here, guys, if you uh, go out doing any perch fishing at the minute, the water's really cold. I'm just dropping it down onto the bottom and I'm just scraping it along the bottom. And um, these perch are just slowly going down and taking it right off right off the deck, right in the sand almost. That one, I had it, actually, my bait was caught in the weed and I was just jiggling it on top of the weed and uh, the fish absolutely nailed it. There's a bigger fish. The bigger ones don't seem as interested. That's probably because I haven't got a big enough bait to tempt it. Oof. Thought it got... Oh, they're really shy now because I've gone and caught two of them. It's a shame because that big one, I mean, it's from off now, the biggest one. That was easily a two pounder, but it's just such a cautious fish, especially when you've caught one or two already. But one of them's having a look. It's a decent size. The biggest one so far, yes. Putting up a bit of a scrap, this one. Nice fish. That's a better fish. It's the biggest one so far. Really yellow colour on it. Still an absolutely beautiful fish. I'm tempted to set a DSLR up for this one. Beautiful, beautiful specimen. It's probably not quite a pound, or maybe just over, or maybe just touching a pound. Once again, the bait up to the top lip every time, because of the way I'm just jiggling it along the bottom. Really nice fish. Try and point him upstream, hopefully I'll swim away from the other fish. God, the water is so cold, these fish are really lethargic. I'll have one more cast with this bait, seeing as though it's caught me a few fish now, and then I'll swap it up. <laughs> Sorry, little guy. <laughs> I thought he was going to be a little bit bigger than he was. He's got no mouth left now. That's a nice one. looking at it got it oh yes now that's the biggest one so far oh very similar size to that other one i had look at that i'm gonna get a dslr out for this just in case it's the biggest one i catch today 
very, very feisty. Just keeping the net side of me here. And I'll uh, find a place to set the camera up and I'll come back to the swim because you never know, they might be feeding me again by the time I come back. Beautiful little fish. It's probably pounding a bit, maybe pound and a half at best. Still really, really nice looking perch. Beautiful fins on it, beautiful fish. Alright, so even though there's a pike out there, the perch are still sort of lingering around. Well, that little guy was anyway. But I genuinely can't make out any other fish. I'll just get a better angle, see if I can see anything. Nah, I can just see the pike. There might be one tiny perch, similar to the size to that one. Maybe. Yes, there is. <laughs> Oh no, he's a bit bigger than that. See, look, change up the colour and pattern of the law. Whoa, he's a feisty little one. He can keep on catching. <laughs> Even from a shoulder that are already spooked. Once again, these are a decent average size. I mean, look at that. That's probably not far off half a pound, if not half a pound already. They're all good sized fish. Like, see there? Little craw bait. There we go. Nice little guy. Goodbye. Right, now is there any more? <laughs> I'm gonna have to get moving because I haven't got long left. I only come out for two hours. It's a big fish, it's easily over two, maybe two and a half. That is a clonking perch. That's what I wanted today. Just literally dropped it onto the bottom, just jiggling it away. Absolutely nailed it.